Hello, and welcome to Intro to Camera Cues. In this tutorial, you will learn how to bring live video into QLab and use it in your workspace. The camera cue, which requires a pro video or pro bundle license, behaves quite a lot like a video cue. You assign it to a surface, you give it a layer, you can assign it to play full screen or with custom geometry, and you can target it with a fade cue to fade it in or out and animate its geometry. The difference, of course, is that camera cues use a live source of video instead of targeting a file on your hard disk. This live source of video can be the FaceTime camera built into all iMacs and MacBooks, an IIDC compliant webcam, which is pretty much just any regular webcam, a Blackmagic Deck Link Intensity or Ultra Studio Video Capture Device. A Firewire or USB Connected DV Camera. Or other programs on your Mac that support video output via Siphon. To get started, go to Settings, and choose Camera from the list on the left. There you can assign any available video input to one of the eight camera patches. A camera cue can then access that source of video by using that patch. When you start the queue, the connection to the camera is activated and the image streams through QLab. If you're using a Blackmagic video capture device, it's important to set your device to the desired input, resolution, and frame rate in Blackmagic desktop video utility and to set up your camera accordingly before launching QLab. Siphon is a software framework which allows programs on the same computer to share video with very low processing overhead and little to no perceivable latency. If you have a program running on your Mac that is publishing a Siphon server, that's Siphon terminology for playing a video, then QLab will list that program in settings amongst the available sources for a camera patch. When you choose a Siphon source for a camera queue and then trigger that queue, you'll see the video from the Siphon enabled program just as though it were video from a camera. Camera cues can also use video effects just like a video cue. Keep in mind though that video effects can quickly use up all available processing power, even on a powerful Mac, so they are best used in moderation. Like salt. Well, that's it for camera cues. You can learn more about fading parameters and using video effects in their respective tutorials.